Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. We have not done a recipe video in months now. I think the last one was Amanda's one carb waffle recipe back in the spring. And the reason I kind of stopped doing these is because I have trouble thinking of recipes on my own, obviously, because I'm stealing everybody else's. And I felt like to do these videos, I should try to come up with something that you guys would actually want to replicate. You guys know my concoctions are just like random things. I don't like to follow recipes as is. So I felt like, you know, maybe I should just give you my original ideas. And maybe I should, but I'll start next time because I'm going to be stealing another recipe from another one of my teammates, Marie Wold. Now, Marie is the reason I am silent PES. I'm so thankful for her, and she's got a great YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys are familiar with her Instagram already. I'll have it all linked down below, but she made these pumpkin protein bars, which I created last year, and she probably doesn't even remember this recipe. I probably could have stole it without even telling her, but we are going to give her credit. I am going to change it a little bit, but very, very slightly. So here is everything you're going to need, and I will list all the measurements down in the description box below. In the event I actually follow a recipe, I will only follow it if it's cheap and easy. That's what I love about this. You just throw everything into the bowl. I hate when you get a recipe and there's so many specific instructions. You have to do things in a certain order. It's like, you know, the order of operations in math class. Please excuse my dear aunt, dear aunt Sally. I'm just like, I think so much in life. I do not want to think when I'm in the kitchen, especially just making something like a protein bar. So all you do, I, I separated the dries from the wets. I don't even think you have to do that. I think that's a bunch of marketing when people tell you you got to, but you throw it in the bowl, okay? You mix it around. It will be a little bit thick and then you throw it in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes and once it comes out it looks a little bit something like this The last two things I love about this recipe, one, it really is delicious, and the other are the macros on these are insane. Marie's recipe calls for dividing this into nine different bars, which you could definitely do because you get so much volume, they're so dense, you could easily eat one and be somewhat satisfied, but you know, I got a pretty big appetite. So I'm only gonna divide this into four different bars, but even so, here are the macros for one of the bar. It's just, it blows my mind. For, to get this much food, for only this many calories, uh, you're not gonna find too many recipes like this one. So if you try this out, I can almost guarantee you like, especially, you know, tis the season of basicness. You guys gotta try pumpkin something or other. You can only have so many lattes, right? So that's really all that there is to it, and that is going to be the end of the video, my friends. So thanks to Marie. Make sure to go check out her YouTube channel and her Instagram. Again, that will all be linked below. And thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You guys could have been doing anything. And you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That's pretty awesome. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, or if you want more recipe videos, that will let me know. I mean, you made it to this point. You had to like something, right? I look forward to talking to you guys next time.